In May of 2017, Disney's California Adventure opened Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, a thrilling retrofit of the park's former Tower of Terror light drop ride, as the first step to introducing the Marvel Universe to the park. In June of 2021, the park opened Phase 1 of Avengers Campus, replacing a Bugs Land and introducing Web Slingers, a Spider-Man adventure, an interactive shooting gallery experience accompanied by your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Welcome to Amusement Labs, where today I'll show you the history, engineering, and technology behind the ride system on Web Slingers a Spider-Man Adventure. This video is sponsored by generous patrons, especially Levi Valentine, Felix Manteza, and Brandon Wiggins, who all received early access at patreon.com slash amusement labs. Located at Disney's California Adventure within Anaheim's Disneyland Resort, Web Slingers, a Spider-Man adventure is a dark ride located in the new Avengers Campus. This quick three and a half minute ride tours riders through the Web or Worldwide Engineering Brigade facility to help disable and corral an infestation of spider bots, also available in the gift shop, as they multiply and wreak havoc. The ride to single pre-show herds guests into one of two rooms where Peter Parker, played by Tom Holland, nervously gives a presentation while trying to control the spread of spider bots that are quickly multiplying and rubbaging through the workshop. Your tour is then converted to a mission to stop the spider bots from overrunning Avengers Campus. In an interesting choice, Disney worked with dark ride manufacturer Triotech to create this ride built within the former Bugs Life Theater. Known more for budget-friendly regional park or arcade rides and products, Triotech provided their expertise and integrated their technology into vehicles made by Art Engineering, a German mechanical consulting and fabrication firm. Their collaborations with Triotech can be seen in similar rides like multiple Ninjago Dark rides around the world. The ride features a track design that uses a central bus bar or physical electrical connection to the vehicles. Using what are sometimes called brushes, the vehicles can maintain a stable connection to the multiple lines or channels located on the sides of the rail. In order to propel themselves, the vehicles use a pinch wheel setup, where two motors use rubberized wheels to pinch the top of the rail and push the vehicles along through the scenes. Each vehicle on the ride holds 16 people total, with two cars of up to eight passengers. Each vehicle sits on a base that contains the pinch wheels and brushes as the vehicles have the ability to rotate around to different scenes throughout the ride. The two cars move in tandem, connected to each other to pairs of screens. A slightly different vehicle design is used as the vehicles envelop the rider's view as opposed to the traditional roofless design and uses double sliding doors to light riders in and out. Once seated with the 3D glasses in position restraint bar, the four groups of riders are sent off to interact with the first of four of the ride's 16 screens. Web Slingers uses trial checks Maestro hands-free aiming technology through a series of sensors. Licensed from UltraLeap, the Maestro technology uses leap motion hand tracking sensors that use a pair of infrared cameras to quickly carefully track the hands of riders. The sensors then can create a profile of where the rider is aiming and the speed at which they're interacting in order to communicate wirelessly with the game software in real time. This creates a projectile, or in the ride's case, webs that appear to fire out of the wrist of riders in real time in an under 40 milliseconds or 1 25th of a second. As mentioned before, the ride's facade-like plot involves guests being toured around the web or Worldwide Engineering Brigade facility during an open house style event that happens to be going on that day. During the pre-show, chaos breaks out as the spider bots run rampant around the facility and you are tasked with helping disable them. You load into a vehicle and are sent off on an adventure that mainly occurs on screen, as opposed to physical sets in animated props or projection mapping. You hurry around to familiar sites around Avengers Campus, like the web facility loading dock, 
the Pym Technologies Facility, the Tavon Collection, and the Quinjet Hangar fighting and arresting hundreds of spider bots in the process. In between these scenes are neatly presented little static sets signifying your travel back and forth through Avengers Campus. In reality, the ride is only traversing a small four-stop switchback of screens, with vehicles stopping completely while you interact with the screens, much like Midway Mania, which is also in the same park. Visualizing Arc Reactor. All systems now online. Activating Avengers Campus in five. Web Slingers The Spider-Man Adventure opened on June 4th, 2021, nearly a year later than expected due to park closures. The ride is, unfortunately, no way perfect, and it admittedly drew heavy criticism by those willing to accurately assess it or critique it. It additionally faced tremendous backlash for its seemingly uninspired or quote-unquote lazy storyline, game mechanics, animation quality, the lack of a central villain, and the park's primary focus and promotion of upcharge accessories, seemingly as opposed to the ride's development. It was also naturally heavily compared to the more detailed High Thrill Spider-Man Dark Ride at Universal's Islands of Adventure in Florida that opened over 22 years ago. Only time will tell if guests will see what Disney saw in the ride for its good on paper combination of game focused familiar rides around the world. Many fans of the parks are mixed on the attraction but look forward to the planned phase 2 expansion of Avengers Campus featuring a grander e-ticket Avengers ride that will hopefully complement the ride well. And that's how Web Slingers at Spider-Man Adventure works. If you like this video, please subscribe, and if you like what we do, please consider joining our Patreon for early access to videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the parks.